Question. Can you hear that buzzing? <laughs> I was just about to start filming a video. And then I was like, I wonder if this buzzing is really annoying for people. So I thought, as I've got five minutes waiting for my buddy Josh to come over, um, I thought I might as well go live and just ask and see if anyone can hear that buzzing. Um, I'm just about to film my newspaper thing, which is going to be, I've got a Times. Concord's in the news today. Hello, Martin. And I've got a Sun as well, just for a laugh. So I'm going to film that in a minute. But I want to know, now that we've got a few people here, can you hear that buzzing on the camera? How much does it come over? Because for some reason, whenever I film in this X5, I think it's the air conditioning, it carries on with that annoying buzz after I turn the car off. And I don't know why. So if you can't hear the buzzing, then that's great. And I can carry on and film like this. I only notice it when I'm editing a fairly high volume with my headphones on. But I'm pretty confident that most of you don't listen to me at fairly high volume with the headphones on. Um, the windscreen, jag leaking, it's also a known issue with Volvo. Nothing, sounds like motor. Okay, cool. So, um, I, I, don't, I don't know why it does it. No matter how long I shut the car off for, it seems to carry on. We've got a little bit of sunshine, and if I'd been organized this morning, I would have filmed with, there was, a, there was a blue Porsche Taycan next to me that looked exactly like Lee's, but I didn't get, I, I, was, I was sort of reading the newspaper before I read the newspaper for the film. So, um, good morning from Droitwich. Hello, Pete. So, uh, I didn't get a chance. And now the Tycoon's gone. And obviously, I didn't hear it leave. <laughs> um, skies today are blue and odd and milky and traily and grey over there. I don't know. Can't talk about it, really, can you? But it's not quite right. Dr. Jellyfingers. Good morning. I just thought I'd say hello quickly. Um, I was just going to start filming a video but I've run out of time. And my buddy Josh, who was on the dino day with his Aguila, is borrowing um, the Chrysler PT Cruiser for the weekend because he wants to take his son out. Apparently, it's his son's favourite car. Um, so any minute now, a Chrysler PT Cruiser's come up, going to come around. Um, then I'm going to buy Josh a coffee and I have a coffee myself. And then I'll get back in my car and then I'll film my newspaper things. Uh, we've got a Sun newspaper, just for a laugh, and a Times newspaper. So that was quite a popular video last week when I did that one, when I just read the news. So hopefully that'll be on YouTube in about an hour. Um, also coming up today, I've got a video where I'm going to discuss how much money Lee is potentially going to lose on his Porsche Taycan. Uh, and in that video, I'll tell you, I'm going to compare because um, I've now sold my car that I used for the John O'Groats Challenge. So we're going to compare his depreciation versus my loss. Uh, and then I'm going to be going through what Porsche 911 is your pick. So there's a few people who are appearing in the video who have asked, including uh, Richard Vobes, Rachel of Colchester, Richard from Challenge the Road. Rich, they've got three Richards. Richard Falks from Wizard Sports and Classics, Richard Vobes, Richard from Challenge the Road, and um, Rachel from Rachel of Colchester and a few other people. Josh is here. Ah, oh, you can't see me. The cruiser is coming up. Um, he's going to drive around again, and he's got to see me. Wait, I'm going to wave at him. Hang on. Come on, Josh. So he's going to drive around. So yeah, Josh is borrowing the cruiser for a little bit. Uh, why is there so many Chinese EVs in the UK now? I do not know. There he is. Hang on. I'm going to wave out the roof. Way! Here he is in the cruiser. Oh. Do you want to meet Josh? Josh is a pretty cool dude. Sounds quite throaty, that PT cruiser. I'll just check he's all right being on camera. He might be skiving work or something. Good news, Josh says he doesn't mind being on camera. So stay with me a second. We're going to move cars. Um, you ready? Always take your key with you with an old car because you never know if it's going to lock itself. Although that being said, it's more likely that's going to happen with a new car, isn't it? Um, right, here we go. You say it's horrible, I don't mind it. I think it's all right. It's really not. <laughs> it's really not? No. Have you still got your, um, 
Oh, make it. How do you make it stop making that noise? I don't know. Oh. You click that, and then. Oh, make it stop. I'm just gonna. Door, like, oh, there you go, it was the door. Ah. All right, this is Josh. Um, why do you want to borrow the PT Cruiser? The PT Cruiser, well. The... Armrest, that's Hope comfortable. I know, that. it's all right. I don't mind it? that. Can you change it? You know, in a plane where you can wind the thing wind and change the, the angle. Oh, you can. Little... There's so much in this car. I just don't... what the fuck's up? What's this? What's, What's your language? Sorry. We're live on YouTube. Oh, sorry. What's um, all this? And and it moves when you. It's never in the same place when you leave it. Oh, you've driven this car more than I have. I haven't driven it yet. Haven't you? It's yeah. horrible. I haven't bothered. It's not nice. Um, I think it's quite. Good. I like the space ball gear shifter though. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? And the it really short shift, and you have to leave it in gear because look, the handbrake doesn't work. No way. So, um, yeah, I don't mind it, but you're borrowing this. Why? Yeah, so basically, I hope he's not watching. Um, How old is your son? He's my stepson. His stepson. So he's right. twenty-six. How old are you? You look like you're about eighteen. Thirty-four. Are you? Yeah. You look very. He doesn't look thirty-four, does he? You're doing well there, you're doing better than me. I'm jealous of your hair, I wish I had hair like that. No, no, it's, no you don't. It's, yeah. it's a nightmare. It's an so, absolute... Um, so, yeah. This is your stepson's favourite car? It was his favourite car from when he was a kid. I don't know why. I yeah. think it's the way it looks more than anything. I, I get that, yeah. And it does look like a cool car. Yeah. And I th I, you had it, and I thought, oh, wouldn't, I wonder if he'd yeah. let me borrow it. So Not a problem at all. And he has no idea. That's ace. He I just really knows, hope he's he just knows I'm picking him up, Yeah. and we're going to go to the Cotswold Motor Museum, because they've got Brum. They have got Brum. And I really yeah. want to see it. Yeah. So. And Borton on the Water is not a bad place and for it's a not, No, no, it's not bad. And if you get bored, because it's only a small car museum, you're not far from Crocodiles of the World. We're not. No, we're not. No. It's only a tenner to get in. I yeah, think. I know. Well, the wife went, well, when you did your treasure hunt, yeah. we all sat in the car park. I was oh, yeah, of course. Work, yeah. You were thinking sat it was there. there thinking, no, it's going to be there, isn't it? And the yeah. wife wanted to go there, but I went, no, we're going to the Motor Museum. Yeah. Morgan Museum. It's easier. Excellent. Um, it's a good little museum, and they used to have the um, like train set place. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. closed now. They had one down. Um, didn't they have one down Diglis? No, um, oh no, they've got that. That's a small model railway, but there was a model shop that also had a room that you could go in that was all like diorama. Oh okay, it was really cool, and there'd be like all scenes and little trains going round. But I think it closed down. Mm -hmm. That was bought on the water. And you always have to have a little paddle, don't you? You've got to have a little paddle. Well, yeah, well, I don't know. Not in this weather, I probably don't. It, it doesn't matter, though, because even in the summer, it's freezing It's freezing cold. cold. Yeah. It's horrible. Um, and for people who are watching from abroad, there's also there's a football match that takes place. If you Google Borton on the water, there's a little stream that runs through it. And once a year, they play football in the river. They have a football match. They do, don't Actually, they? Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing something, seen something like that. So um, There's lots of silly things in this country, though, isn't it, that we do? Chase but, but, cheese down hills. Look, look at this, shining through the wind. I, I know, know, I know. I took a photo. Did you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I said, I was like, look, it's blue in Malvern. I can't believe I don't want to jinx it, though. Yeah. Um, Jeff remembers when all this was fields. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. So you're going you're gonna to borrow the, the PT for a little I bit. I am, yeah. Um, I hope it doesn't break down. And it shouldn't do, because it came up from Cornwall. Did it? Yeah, Tony bought it up from Cornwall. Bloody hell. Yeah, so. It's got a really high clutch on it. Has it? Yes. All right. Very high, like, there. <laughs> like, oh. really high clutch. Like, Maybe that's just the way they are. Um, I've actually sold this. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's sold, so hopefully it doesn't break before it sells. But this is it. So I'm going to drive it very carefully. I've got no fuel. Then again, this is the second car I've, been, I've got in today, and then driving along, gone... Oh, I've got no fuel. So I had to go put a fiver in the other car. And oh, I'm did you? to go put fuel in this one. So I, well. I reckon maybe Tony calculated it exactly so that when he perfectly, got up it, it, perfectly. Would be, it would be empty. Empty, yeah, perfectly. Um, all right, cool. But yeah, I jumped in my car to go pick it up and then my board, my petrol light came on. Yeah. I still got the ST. Yeah. That's going in for work on Tuesday. Yeah. So. Monday ST TDCI in black, Panther black. It is indeed. And your Aguila. Have you still got your Aguila? That's what I drove in. That's, yeah. that's what I went to go Will you be it keeping the Aguila? Oh, yeah. 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 The wife won't let me get rid of it. Aguila the Hun. Hi, Jeff. Two facts for you. Tesla, if the car dies, you get locked in the car. Imagine then catching on fire. EV trucks batteries are the weight of around two cars and drain the electric network. Um, I can believe it. I don't understand. Like, yeah. the, the concept of having an electric truck is ridiculous. And what's the point? Electric locks as well. Again, what's the what's wrong Mental. with that? What's wrong? Yeah. Hybrid. Silent. Um, 
Have you noticed how they gave up on wheel arches on the Toyota as well? And they just went. They're all just square now, aren't they? <laughs> a lot of cars are like that with square wheel arches. Um, there was a Porsche Taycan parked here this morning, and I was trying to get I was trying to get some filming done, um, looking at the Taycan, but. I, I wasn't organised enough, <laughs> and, and it left. <laughs> it's busy here, isn't it, today? It is a busy little spot. Um, the coffee's all right here, actually. Actually makes it a decent coffee shop, because the coffee's okay. I've, no, I've never I've never been here for coffee. I come here just to go, ooh, look at the cars, and then I turn around and drive off. It's nice and central, and they've got fast internet, which makes it quite handy for me, Yeah. because I'm always over this way. <laughs> I've got Russell the st sticker man over there, close to the train station and not a million miles from the kids' school. So I often hang out here. It's like, yeah, it's like yeah. my local. It's not a bad place to hang out though, really, is it, Malvern? It's quite nice. It's you, quite you could do worse than, oh, yeah, than hanging yeah, out in can, Malvern. Yeah. There's, there's definitely worse places oh, in the yeah. world. Um, are you not work, not work today then? I don't work Fridays. Nice! Don't work Fridays, Saturdays or Sundays. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I, only work, I only work down the road. I know. I always see your. I always see your car. I always see your car, and, and I still yet have not managed to put any Jeff Buys car stickers on any of your vehicles. I should get on that. Isn't that a weird place for the window switch? I, I got in the car. And I was odd, like, I'm really, it? I'm really hot. Where's, where, where's the window switch? Oh, they're right. And the there. thing is, I was going to say uh, that they did that because they're lazy, but surely you'd put your switch near your motor. The laziest thing to do would be to put Move your it. window switch right next to your window. Surely. Yeah. But why would they put it in the middle? Of that. Maybe it's like an American RV with everything on the dash. And look how big the wheel is. The wheel's <laughs> huge. Massive steering wheel. Let me show you this wheel, people. It's huge. I'm going to turn the camera around. I think I can do that. There we go. Oh, look at that. Massive. And it's like retro style as well. So here's the window switches that we were talking about. Um, and here's your, your big space ball knob. I guess that's for putting coins in. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. It's just for gathering dirt, isn't it? Yeah, basically. basically. Yeah. You um, rate your different coins. Yeah, and then you've got armrests here. Half leather, half a little bit of suede. Um, oh, and it does that every time. Oh, there you go. Hey, you're wearing globe trainers. I am, yeah. Oh, you used to have a pair of globes. Are they are they fairly new or have you had those forever? They're, they're quite new. Are they? Yeah, yeah they're fairly new. Yeah. I, used I, to, I do uh, like my globe trainers. Too. Many, many years ago. Well, you're 34, so I, I, I'm not far off you, but I reckon... When I was about 14, I saw a Globe advert in a surf magazine and I had to have Globe, yeah, it was, Globe shoes. I was very into skating, like everyone was back in the day, I suppose. Yeah. And, uh, but I was never good at it. No, no, was I, was I. I was always the one behind the camera filming I did other that. people I was, doing. I was just about to say that was my <laughs> trick. So I had a digital camera, so I'd be like, oh, don't worry, guys, you do the skating. And I'll, I'll film it. So we did the same thing. Yeah, I'll just skate alongside filming. Yeah. And like, I right. could do I could do an ollie. And I could ollie, yeah. I could ollie over like two skateboards if you stacked them together. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but that was pretty much it. Yeah. I think I did a stair set once. So it was like I say stair set. It was like three stairs. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Probably I fell down them. But I wouldn't yeah, say. <laughs> I was always really envious of people that could do kick flips. I always wanted to do a kick flip. Yeah, I, I landed one once. Did you? It was the proudest moment of my life. But really, my mate saw it, and we were in a skate park at the time. But obviously, I was no good at skating whatsoever and he was brilliant he still skates now though do you know what we should do we should get skateboards get skateboards and yeah. we should learn to kick flip i've still got one i i bought a skate I, when i was in i was in new york when i was young 14 or so yeah and um i bought a skateboard from i can't remember the name of the toy shop but it's a mini it's a blind mini oh yeah so it's slightly smaller than a normal skateboard it's yeah. slightly thinner than a normal skateboard yeah. everything on it is just slightly smaller yeah so it makes everything a million times easier. And the, the problem is as well, when you're older, you jump on a skateboard and you go, ooh, 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 this it, is... You go, ooh, before anything's even happened because you know you're going to fall off and you know it's really going to hurt. As Actually, you get older, pain becomes more and you're more likely to go... Ah, this this reminds me, now that I've got more YouTube subscribers, um, I might post this video again. So I, I've got a three-wheeled skateboard that, that moves like a surfboard. So you can take it to a skate park and you can flow all around the skate oh, right, park okay. like you're surfing. And because it it's self-propelling, you don't need to wear shoes. You can ride it barefoot because you don't need to kick along. Because that's safe. Problem was, I was at a skate park and I was filming myself. I can't remember why. And I went up, I went up to the top of a ramp and the front wheel got stuck at the top of the ramp and I went from the top to the bottom and stacked it. And it, <laughs> and it was on camera. 
Yeah. I was quite lucky I didn't like because when you're older you don't bounce as well, do no, you? You don't know. When I, you're younger you're made of magic and rubber. I always thought that was one of those things that people said and it was never gonna happen to me. And I've noticed now that I don't bounce. No. As well as you used no. to. And like jumping over stuff as well. Jumping over fences and jumping over things that you... Yeah, you, yeah. Well, it's got well, a bit more difficult. Yeah, back in the day though, when we were younger, we used to do, we used to, you know, I mean like things like CKY would only just yeah, come out and CKY yeah. 2K and Jackass wasn't uh, even a thing. I rem- and- when, when, in the early days of Jackass, I remember I went to sleep over at someone's house who had, because my, my family home, we wouldn't have had like any of the channels. We went to sleep over at someone's house where they had it must have been MTV, and it was like a jackass marathon. No, oh, yeah. And it was the oh, best God. thing ever. And I remember there were there were adverts, and we'd gone out to the park to skate, and I remember someone running out, running across the road, being like, "Jackass is back on!" <laughs> yes, yes. But like that doesn't happen anymore, does it? <laughs> and as well, at that sleepover, we wouldn't have had mobile phones, <coughs> so we'd no. have been talking to each other. And you stayed up all night. I mean, like the first person yeah. to pass out, you're instantly playing buckaroo with them. Yeah, absolutely. Straight away. I, I think, How much stuff can we pile on? I still do that today. Though, and we'd so. have probably, I think I was 16, so we'd have probably been raiding Smirnoff Ices. Remember Smirnoff Ice? Yeah, yeah. How WKD easy were those to drink? Blue and... WKD Blue and probably cans of Foster's as well. Yeah. Did you ever drink Toxic Lager? No. It's half a lager and a blue WKD. Really? And it goes green, like mm. my hoodie green. And then you're like, mmm, a green do, drink. Not going to do any favours, is it? <laughs> but I, I just feel like... But, in those days, I, I had MSN Messenger on my computer. MSN, oh my God. MSN, AOL. Yeah. Uh, did you, were you old enough Literally, for AOL Messenger? in the back of my yearbook, we've got everyone's MSN. Amazing. You know, uh, all the, what was it? Your email address for your MSN. And yeah. it, so you could keep in contact. Can well, you remember your username? Oh, no. I could I could search out my yearbook and find it though. It's It'd be funny there. to know like what see how many are still on there. Get on MSN. I, I saw a meme the other day that <laughs> um, that posted up saying there's nothing more embarrassing than your like email address that you used when you were that age. And I don't think <laughs> when you get older you still haven't changed yeah. it. And it's still Big Boy sixty nine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sending that off to a job interview. Yeah, yeah I love oh, that. Here's my CV. What's your email? Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, Big, uh, Big Boy. I'll make, I'll make a new one. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> bigboy69 at aol.com yeah. absolutely You're love it wicked. but I just I don't think that kids these days skate do you know what I saw something I, I talking about mobile phones and everything I saw something on Facebook earlier this history whatever well she might get that parked in a minute I'd have gone for a bigger space yeah <laughs> that's what I did um, she's listening for a scrape now yeah <laughs> but I was watching this thing earlier on it popped up on Facebook and it was 2001, and yeah. it was the BBC News reporting about how text messaging has taken off. Wow. And over a, a billion text messages were sent in England in that year. And they were like, kids like with their Nokias going, oh yeah, I send 15 text messages a day. I send up to 20, I can't, I, I love sending text messages. I'm like, and, well, and, and 10 years later, and all of a sudden, yes. Yeah. It, and here we are on YouTube. I know, we're live broadcasting and, live on YouTube. And, and, and from we, a car park. But we remember the days where you'd be typing a text message and then you think, oh, I better make that short, it's going to go into two messages. Two messages? It is going to cost too 20p. much. 20p? Yeah, I'm not 10p a text 20p. message. And then when text that. messaging became like free as part of your mobile phone plan, that changed like everything. Yeah. yeah. But I remember um, when I was, must have been a little bit older by this point, I had a Motorola 3788. Do you remember yeah, that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, Right, that you could put four AA batteries in it. But you couldn't save anybody's names against the phone no. number. No, you so unless you memorised the last three digits of the phone number, you wouldn't know who was texting you. <laughs> and my brother had the same phone. And one night we were sat at home, probably watching a football match or whatever it was that was on telly. And my phone bibbed. And it was a text message that said something like, I'm not talking to you anymore after what you've done. And I thought it was from this girl, right? And this conversation went on all night. And it was my <laughs> brother sat on the sofa on the other side of the room. Why and, didn't you? And like, I, was, I was having a great day. You know, life was good. And then this message came through and I was like, oh no, <laughs> what's happened? And I thought it was this girl, Jen, who I thought had been texting. And he sat there going, <laughs> Yeah, my, my evil brother. Um, because you could do that back then. Yeah, you could, yeah. yeah. It's got to be more complicated these days. Yeah. So I just, I, I don't fit, yeah. I don't feel like the world has got any better. I th- oh I, no, no. Life was easier when you had I think, a big brick of a Motorola and you'd go 
Go got... away! And I... you could throw it on the floor and it'd smash into pieces and then you'd just pick all the pieces back up and put it back together. Well, we had one... Of... And then Nokia came out with that little one that was the 50... Might have been a 5210 and it, it had a clamshell on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should see how far you could throw oh, it. Oh, yeah, my mate Ed had yeah. one. They were indestructible yeah, drop-off buildings. And he said, watch this. And we'd just launch it at the wall as hard as we could Absolutely. just to see what happened to it. Do you remember changing your screensaver on those? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah, yeah, There was yeah. a website called Bolt Blue and you'd get, like, five free ones a day and then you have to pay, and then the next day you can change yeah, and on the, the back of like everything. magazines and stuff, just yeah. lists of ringtones that you could pay like ten quid for, and you're yeah. like, and yet we were like, oh yeah, I really, really want that. I really, really I want that ringtone. Why? It's it's a isn't it's it funny how like, song. <laughs> isn't it funny how the world has changed so much that at the time we thought that was the best thing ever. Yeah. Or like if you were on a bus and someone's phone rang and it was a ringtone like that, you'd be like, whoa, they've got one of them Sony phones yeah. with a colour screen. See, I remember my mate Barry leaving. I had a Nokia. 3310 or something. Yeah. The one with the buttons slightly joined up. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he left it in a phone box and somebody went, oh, that's mine, and nicked it. Yeah. So I made him take me down to the uh, three, the yeah. phone shop. And I got this monstrosity of a phone. Yeah. Huge thing with a big screen and a camera that rolls round on the top. It was, it was crap. The rolly round The rolly cameras. round camera. And it was, it was literally about as tall as my face. Like, yeah. Huge things. Quite flat. Colour screen with a camera. And it... You could put music on it and it'd yeah. play music and, and that was just like the dogs. That was the best thing you could it actually was. get. And back then as well, mobile phones were all different. So I, I worked in mobile they phones. They were all different. Before, just before like the major internet thing came on. I remember I had a Samsung Z500, right? Yeah. Which was a flip phone. And I was, you could watch tele, you couldn't really watch telly on it because it was rubbish, but you could. And it was like the early days of that tech. But every time it, you had flip phones, you had what were called candy bar phones, yeah. you had flat phones, and they were all, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd look at all the phones on the clip in the phone shop, and they'd all be different and, you'd and pick varied. them up and feel them yeah. and on the little weird wire. Exactly. And now, and you'd go to a phone shop just to see what there was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you go to a phone shop, and they're all exactly the same. They're all the same. Do you want so one that's boring, this big isn't it? or this big? Do you want three cameras? Why do I need four cameras? Slide phones as well. Why do I need six cameras? We had, we had, I don't understand. We had flip. And then we had slide, the slide, slide phones. Do, do you remember the Motorola? It was a really weird one. It was round at the top and it had a stick down the bottom. And it... Oh, I do! It, the the rotating one. It sort of rotated round. Yeah. And then there was the phone that was in the Matrix that everyone else wanted. Or you know, you the little the button. Yeah, yeah My mate Rob had one of them. And he was just all the time in the pub. He was going... Hello. Love it. And they, oh, and they relaunched shop. it recently. They relaunched yeah, it, it yeah. as the banana phone. And I was so excited because I was hoping that, uh, honestly, I was like on the waiting list for this phone, this, this flippy down phone. Yeah, they were what cool. I wanted was a be like, what I wanted was a drug dealer phone, basically, with nothing on it. Yeah. Where the only yeah. people that had that number was like my wife, my mom, my dad, my brother, and that's it. And I could just have an actual phone. And then they launched it and it was like a compromise. It was somewhere between a modern phone and an old phone. Yeah. And the software was rubbish. And the reviews came out, work. and the amount of people that were saying, I was so excited about this phone, and now it's rubbish. So I was, I was really disappointed. Yeah, but the phones, phones were a big thing back in the day. Like, it, the Razor phone and things yeah. like this, you know, it had a screen on the front. You could yeah. look and see who's calling you without having to answer the phone. Exactly. I can ignore you now. Brilliant. Yeah. Amazing. That and, was the best the, technology, the being able life, to ignore people. Your phone would last for, like, five, five days, days. Easy. You'd always have signal wherever you went. You uh, drop it on the floor and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, and they weren't thousands of pounds. They either. weren't thousands of pounds either. Shame, isn't it? And now it's you know now we've just got these little weird things. I think which, the, the irony of that as well is quite funny because we all have lithium in our. Oh, phones. that is good. Look, I can show people. We've got a Jeff sticker on the back of his phone about mining lithium. Um, There's one on the back. Of I've the not car been. I've not been reading any comments because I've just been fully engaged in this conversation. Chatting. But I bet everybody has been commenting along, going, "I the remember." Razor V three was great. The Motorola <laughs> Razor V. I bought one not Who too long ago. I wanted to use a Motorola Razor flip phone, but it doesn't. They don't really work with the technology no, today. No, they you, you don't. You can't get SIM cards that work with them. No, can't get. Well, you can get adapters. You can get the smaller micro SIM cards, and you just put it. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they don't one. connect to the network. Oh, they just don't. I bought no, recently no. a Sony W810. Remember the Walkman phone? Oh yes, first the, Walkman phone that came out. I bought my son. Well, both my sons when they were younger, and they were like, "Oh, we want mobile phones," and da da da. I bought the oldest. I bought him some sort of Nokia touchscreen thing. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but it was a touchscreen Nokia, and he was over the moon with it. Yeah. And I bought my son the orange Sony Ericsson Walkman, oh. little silver and orange thing. Yeah. And he had a speaker that plugged into the bottom yeah. of it and everything. Yeah. It they just, were brilliant. What happened to that? I, I don't know. Like everything just went downhill. Now didn't it? all of a sudden, I've got to have one plug that fits everything. My phone won't connect to anything, and like I'm in here, and I need an aux plug. 
Yeah. And this is, this is an old car, whereas it should, should work. But the other thing as well, and I've noticed this lately, right? So we, hang on, let's read this comment. Jeff, you need to have a video chat with my, I still have a collection of phones. The, oh, my dad had a Motorola StarTac. That'd be good. Um, the other thing is, and the conspiracy people watching will like this. You went from, you couldn't have music on your phone, and then Sony Ericsson launched the Walkman phone, and then Apple came out with the iPhone, which had iMusic on yeah, it, yeah. and therefore iTunes. And iTunes, for a while, worked really well, and you didn't need to be connected to the internet. And I've noticed lately, it's no longer called iTunes, it's now called Music, and it just doesn't work as well as it used to. And I've got an old-fashioned iPod that I connect to my stereo with a three and a half mil jack cable, right? So it's all connected manually, and I've noticed it started skipping like it's buffering, but it's not. The music is stored on the iPod, it's manually connected to the amplifier, and yet still, I was listening to something this morning, and it's skipping like when Spotify can't find a connection. Yeah, yeah. I find it really odd. I don't know, that's a, I, I lost my iPod years ago. I was in Hong Kong. I'm, I'm well traveled, man. Are you? I was in Hong Kong, and I was upstairs on the, on the on their roofy bit. And they had this overflow pipe that every now and then it just turned on and just water just went everywhere oh, really? over the roof. So I was going mental, grabbing all these cushions and pulling it all in and went, phew, that's sorted. And then looked down and right there where the water was hitting was my 120 gig iPod. Damn. And I was just, and that was the end of that iPod then. That died and I didn't get another one after that. And now I pay for Spotify like everyone else. And, and I bet back then you had 120 gigs oh, worth of music. Full. Same, it was like full. I'd love to have all my old hard drives back with all the music that I illegally downloaded from Napster and then <laughs> Kazaa, LimeWire, LimeWire, <laughs> Pirate Bay. And you, again, you can't do any like you can't do any of that anymore. Can no, you? no, because you'll have a knock on the door from the police. Yeah, it's like, I remember years ago, my friend had a knock on the door from the police because they got the. They downloaded a version of the Jolly Roger cookbook, which, very bad, don't do that. Right. Don't do that. What is the Jolly Roger cookbook? It's, it's a very bad book right. on how to make bombs. Oh, excellent. So, you know, yeah. uh, so uh, it's a very watched book. The police yeah. are, or If you download it, read it, buy it, anything, the police will be on your door. Really? Excellent. We know you've done this. Give it here. You know, they are, they are yeah. on it. So it's kind of good, but I remember them saying that. And they were like, what are you on about? And it turned out that it was their mate who was living with them at the time. Uh, he downloaded, downloaded it. it. Wow. And got the police on the door going, what are you doing? You know, but yeah. that was the day of downloading things. But I remember, I, I'm, I'm that sad. I would buy CDs, put them onto the computer, and then switch them over onto my iPod. This is what I've started doing recently. So I've just got endless amounts of CDs and stuff. And now I've got Spotify and everything's yeah. just like, oh, download. There no, no, go. but I, I'm, I'm doing this now. Since I did that road trip where I did, when we did John O'Groats to Land's End, I just bought the car. I didn't have any CDs. The only thing I had was my phone. And in all that traffic, I had no internet. And I had no music or no, nothing. Yeah, that's and killer. I had a moment when I was like, this is not the future. So after that, and now, because everybody's getting rid of their CDs, you can buy the CDs that you bought for eighteen ninety nine from, <laughs> from HMV, HMV back in the day, <laughs> and you can now buy it for like one pound twenty nine delivered yeah. off of eBay yeah. from Music Magpie. Because nobody nobody wants them. So usually when I've had a drink, I but I sit on eBay and I'm like, what what were the albums that I used to listen to? And then I order them in batches. So I, yeah. and, and then and I and then I ordered a I ordered a C drive C D drive for my computer because they don't come with C D drives no, anymore. No. You have to get an external one. So I've got a USB adapter that goes USB C to USB, and then I plug my USB CD drive into my adapter, and then I'm able to rip the CDs onto my iTunes. Computer, and then but not all of them work. Up. Some of them come up with like copyright things, and the music's all distorted, and there's like a buzz over it. There's oh. a couple of albums I've noticed that have done that, but you don't realise until after you've put it on your after iPad you actually and got to, to listen yeah. to it. <laughs> this is, again, this is why I just pay for Spotify because. I pay for it. I can download loads of music, yeah, and I can listen to it all offline, yeah. And that that was the game changer for me because I didn't have I didn't have internet where I was working. Yeah, and I didn't have when I was out walking and whatnot, and on my bike, and you know, when you're riding your motorbike and you've got your headphones in, you yeah. can't stop and just change your music. Yeah, so yeah. you need something to yeah to keep going. So I always download it now, and it and it works a treat. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't live without it. I've had I started on Spotify, yeah, and then they went. You can pay for it. And yeah. I went, no. What do you think? No, go away. So I got Deezer. Yeah. And then they said the same. And I yeah. went, oh, all right, I'll pay for it. And then something happened with Deezer, and I can't remember what it was. I think it was... I've always... I like different types of music, but they had what music I was looking for. Yeah. 
and then it started disappearing. So I picked up Spotify, and yeah. there it all is again. It, it concerns me that that with Spotify, like they can, it can be switched off at any point, or certain artists can be deleted. Like you don't have any control over no, the no, back not catalog, do you? Which no, is kind of scary, all. and it's really annoying because there's some albums on there which. I'm a huge Manowar fan. I love Manowar more than anything. Yeah. And I've been waiting for their album, their latest album, to get onto Spotify for ages. And it's finally on there. And then all of a sudden there's other albums that have gone. Yeah. Or aren't on there. And I'm like, but what's the, what's the point? You, yeah. You've got their entire back catalogue apart from this one album. Yeah. What's with that album then? And it just makes me want to go looking into it. Is yeah. it the producers? Is it the writers? Is it somebody else owns the rights to it? Yeah. I don't know. But And again, like, I, I found it, there's, there's certain... Tracks and albums and songs that I used to listen to when someone had like given it you on a USB stick, and you find it again on Spotify, and you listen to it on Spotify, and you go, "This isn't the version that I used to listen to." Honestly, I'm so angry at the moment about this. Chris Rea's album "Road to Hell" yeah. on Spotify, it gets around to my favourite song called Texas. Yeah, and it is not Texas. Really? And I was listening to it the other day, and it came up, and I just went, "That's not." No, and I got really angry and just turned it off and just yeah. went, no, you can go away. That's not that's not the song that I wanted to hear. I wanted Chris Rea's Texas. It's on that album. It says Texas. So why is it not? Maybe it's like what, it this used to be. Mandela effect thing. It used to be Texas and then all of a sudden it's not. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. And there's a lot of people in the comments that be like, oh, Spotify are bad. But... The yeah, problem is, are, yeah. all of these services that are launching, they're all bad. Yeah, exactly. But they're, yeah. they're so good and so useful that you end up... Bit, that, that's the only way to do it. That's yeah, exactly. What, yeah. Just... what is good for... If, if You don't make money from spending loads of money. No. And you don't make money by being really kind, unfortunately. I wish you did. I wish you did as well, yeah. But you make money by being really evil and, and hiding things. And Yeah. Here, here's something you need. You don't really be make you pay for it yeah absolutely oh, i am um, i tell you what this is interesting yesterday my friend uh richard from wizard sports and classics he put something on instagram <coughs> and he wanted uh he wanted to do an ai generated image basically he's put his instagram but <laughs> I like some of when i do those i do them on bing on my computer and i was upstairs on my phone so i thought oh no i'll just download an ai generator app and then i'll have it on my phone and i put the app on and it said, oh, you need, you need to sign the terms and conditions. And I just thought, I'm just going to check these terms and conditions before I do. And I went into the one section and it gave a list of all the companies, third party companies that had access to your yeah. data. And you had to individually tick them. Yeah. And the list was so long, I got to 140 and gave up. Yeah. So all of these free apps are doing something with oh, yeah. all of your data. Yeah. But I, I was shocked yeah. at just how many companies. It's frightening. If so, you actually go reading into the terms and conditions of some things, there's a comedian out there called Dave Gorman, and he does yeah. this a lot. And some of the things which he's read into, and they've, it's just really stupid, stupid things at the bottom of terms and conditions that nobody reads. Yeah. And he's gone, but why is this even in here? Yeah. <laughs> it makes no sense yeah. whatsoever. But Absolutely. If you read the terms and conditions, if you can be bothered, yeah. some of them are very funny. Yeah. And you're just like... Okay, well, you know. But... Someone, someone had to sit down and write that. That's yeah. the thing. There would have been lawyers. That's that, their job. That would... You look like my brother, apparently. Someone's just said that you look like my brother. Um, here's one. Okay. I hate DAB Radio. I hate DAB Radio as well, and I don't know why. What's wrong with DAB Radio? I don't know. Isn't it just radio that works, like, all the time? Well, you just turn it on, and it's... I'm just... You've got radio. You don't have to search for it to sit there going, mm, twiddle, twwiddle. I, I know just feel, a bit, twiddle, I feel a bit suspicious about it, and I don't know why. You just hit a button, and it's like, boom, Planet Rock. Boom, Radio 2. Yeah. But there's something nice about tuning it. Yeah, finding that you're, on, you're on a road trip in an old car, <laughs> and, and your and your batteries run out on your iPod, and your 12 volt charger doesn't work because <laughs> you didn't check the fuse before you left. So you're stuck with the radio, and that's Twisted when you realise as well. I've made so many Jeff videos where I've been like driving back from because you can't include any of it in a YouTube video because no. because of, of the copyright. The amount of videos I've made where I've gone and collected a car, I've driven home in that exact scenario, and I'm going through the radio and I'm ranting at the radio because every radio station plays the same songs. Because they're only there to distract you from the misery that is your life. <laughs> you know, that's why like all, all radio stations are like, right, here's some songs from the glory years when yeah. you actually had hope in <laughs> things yeah. and the world felt it's, like it was decent. Here's but... some songs from when you felt happy. Exactly. exactly... <laughs> and hopefully you won't remember that last <laughs> Thursday was the <laughs> yeah. same songs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Next week the songs will be the same. Exactly. On yeah. our free radio, I hate it more than anything. Me, yeah. and my, me and my friend used to be, we worked together and we'd be like, oh, look, it's... It's 
At eleven twenty, we will hear Justin Bieber, yeah. and then eleven twenty, oh, Justin Bieber's on. And yeah. the song after this is going to be this, yeah. and it will be that. It, yeah, one hundred and ten percent. I, no... I worked in an office once where I'd work upstairs, and every now and then I'd have to go downstairs and see the girl that worked downstairs, and. For a week, every single time I walked into the office, the same song. Same song. It's same. always the same. It was bizarre. It kept happening. And then every three months, they might throw a couple more new songs in there. Or, yeah. Oh, the next DJ's on. He's got a load of songs. Yes, the same They're songs the same. as what yeah. he played yesterday. From, at two from the government approved list yeah. of music. <laughs> oh. Cool. Right. I think I need to. I, wait, I've been broadcasting for half an hour. Um, I, I need to go and have a coffee, and I've got some more stuff yeah. to film. Yeah, and I, I presume you've got more to do than sit in a car and talk to 561 people. Honestly, I'd love to say I have, but, but you I, really, I really haven't. Yeah. No, I've got a, I've got a man coming round to service my boiler at some point to do a gas check on it, and the wife's at home, so I'm like, well, I'm going to go pick up a PT cruiser. Yeah. And, I don't know, go cruising, go, I suppose. Go PT well, cruising. I'm going to go yeah. PT cruising. I'm going to go get coffee first, though. Do cause... you think it needs a big hole in the roof? Yes. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't I, that I, just make I, it? I think you should stick a hot rod in it. I think it would look so cool. I well, think, I think this car particularly, if you actually hot rodded one of these, do you like ZZ properly, Top? Love ZZ Top. Yeah. yeah, I know exactly the car which you're on about as well. Yeah. That would be wicked. It's getting done. That would be cool. That, Is I, there going to be a really leggy blonde that steps out of it as well? Uh, I got to find one. I don't know any leggy blondes. My wife's really short. I don't know. I'll have a think. Probably, well, sure most most of my followers there. are men, so that's that's not going to happen either. Um, I, although. I am quite popular with grandmas, it seems. I get some really nice emails from older ladies saying that they like watching my channel, <laughs> which is really sweet. I like that. See, I get a lot of things in a tiller with that, though. I get, yeah. I think, young kids looking at it. I swear the wife said that this young kid was taking pictures of it, and I swear it was because of the dino day, and he yeah. put one and one together. So this is a black Voxel Aguila with all the accessories and green stickers. And green stickers, yeah. It's, it's quite it's, a cool it's, thing, it's isn't it? It's getting quite more green at the moment. Is it? Well. Yeah, yeah. It's got a garden inside and all sorts of things. Oh, right. Yeah, it's, it's it's all right, but it's been shown at Shedfest. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I am taking it. I am showing it. Auto at Shedfest. Alex's Shedfest. Yeah, Where yeah. is that? That's at um, Mallory Park. That's so, only about an hour away. Is it about an hour? Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, it's is not it? far away. I thought Mallory was more than that from here. About an hour. I don't know. All right. Is I might it? try and take something. When when is it? Fourth of May. Fourth of May. My okay. wedding anniversary as well. Is it? Yeah. Happy wedding anniversary. <laughs> I know, I said to the wife, I was like, well, you know, do you want to come to a car show on our anniversary? Well, um, I might try and get a car to shed. Uh, my wife does that all the time. Well, no, I do that to my wife all the time. <laughs> Darling, it's your birthday. We're going to the British Transport Museum. <laughs> she Just what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. What should you do today? Coventry Transport Museum? Like, yeah. I, I don't want to go to Coventry. I love Coventry Transport Museum. I know, I was talking about that it on the, live feed uh, That was just the best thing ever. I couldn't believe, when I went in there and they said it's free, I was just I tell everyone about it yeah. now. I just think it's a good it's... little thing. The, the only the only problem with Coventry Transport Museum is that it's in Coventry and you have to go to Coventry. Yeah, there is. The that parking's well, yeah. a nightmare and everything is being built. The ring road's a nightmare. It's not a nice place. <laughs> I mean, I, I was I was, <laughs> I was stuck on the ring road trying to get into Coventry and I could see inside just over there, 100 yeah. yards away, there was a motorbike park. Yeah. And I couldn't figure out how to get to it. Like, so I got off the bike, told yeah. the wife to carry the helmet, and I pushed it through the pedestrian area yeah. just to park there. Then I'd find my way out from there. But getting into it... Do you know what it's like? Forget it's it. exactly forget like it. when you're stuck in the rapids at the Crystal Leisure Centre. Yes. Yeah, yeah literally. Just, <laughs> I missed oh, the exit again. God damn have, it. I'll, I'll have, have to, to go, go around, around again. <laughs> Except usually when I'm in Coventry, I'm not on a rubber ring. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff on his new channel, Two Blokes in a Car Just Talking Nostalgia would be great as a podcast. I'm enjoying, I, I, I'm working with a, a YouTube consultant at the moment. When, it, when I hit, I don't know, I got an email saying, would you like to be part of a YouTube partner program? And usually I get emails like this and I'm like, yeah, this is all bollocks. And then I click yes. And then I got a phone call the one day from America. And I was like, who's phoning me from America? And I answered and it was this person from YouTube. And, uh, and she was chatting to me and she was saying, oh, do you use YouTube Shorts? Do you use YouTube Lives? And I said, well, no, not really, because I can't really be bothered. And then she taught me through good reasons to doing it. And she said, right, I'm going to check back in with you in a few months and see how you're doing. And hopefully you're, you're, you're getting on better with Shorts and Live. I still hate YouTube Shorts. No, but I don't do Shorts. I've really. been doing more YouTube Lives and I really enjoy them. It's really the nice. The with the Shorts, though, it's the same as watching Shorts on Facebook. You sit there and then before you know it, three hours have gone by and you just... yeah. And you, I, and I, uh, yeah. you turn into that, you tur you're just melting your brain and turning yourself into a moron by just wasting your life by going, 
I've got to work on Watching this. Watching tiny, tiny videos. My wife's been falling asleep early this week and then I'm wasting my life usually watching um, videos that end in chaos. And like, just <laughs> yeah. you're watching like car crashes and just like you're watching utter crap. And the funny thing is, I take my kids, I, I take them off the devices when I catch them doing it. I'm like, right, you're watching YouTube shorts, get off. Stop and it. then I'll be there going like, Dad, no. why, why, are you watching, yeah. why are you watching Nürburgring? Fails. Yeah. I'm like, uh, look, I'm in charge here. Yeah. I like watching people do stupid things. Yeah. It's different when I do it. <laughs> yeah. th there was another. There's another thing that's in the newspaper today that says people spend more time on the toilet than they do exercising. I can believe that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I can definitely. <laughs> if you send some of the people. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you scroll in your phone. Oh, the nerd in motion just spent, sent me two pounds. Please put this towards one mile of the PT Cruiser. Hang on. Well, thank you very much. Hang on. Done. <laughs> Thank you. Done live on camera. Uh, Nerd in Motion, I saw your post this morning about your Casio G-Shock. And um, I really like Casio G-Shocks, but my beef with... We've gone on to watches now, retro watches. Oh, I love watches. But every, again, everybody has a smartwatch these days. you got a smartwatch. I do, but only because when I got my new phone, because yeah. I felt like, why not? Yeah. They went, do you want a smartwatch with it as well? Yeah. It only cost you X amount. And I mean, to be fair, the cost for the phone and the watch, and this thing is brilliant. Oh, here we go. Oh, my here God. Here we go. Now, in I... the comments, smartwatches, yes or no? Go. While I have it explained to me, I'm not wearing no, a watch. Don't, don't do <laughs> smartwatches because they just ruin your life. Yeah. They ruin your life. It's so handy. Why is my phone now in my watch? Yeah. But yet, I still go, oh, I didn't pick up my phone. It's all right. I'll just pay for it. Yeah. I find that weird. Why do you pay for things on your watch? Right. You, just, you justify it to people. I'm just going to grab my watch because I've got a story about my watch. Hang on. Don't don't buy a smartwatch. Basically, they're overpriced. They're expensive, and they are absolutely brilliant. I love my smartwatch. I can't get enough of it. I think it's the best thing ever. Although before I had a smartwatch, I had a what was it? A Casio Illuminator. Oh yeah, nice one. That you can't was. go wrong that with a simple a nice Casio. Watch. That was a nice watch. And I have got a, I have got a really nice Casio at home actually. Yeah. And it's a it's a Casio watch with a nice. You know, a normal analog dial, yeah. and then below the analog dial is a calculator. Nice. So you've got like you keep all, and you can put your telephone numbers yeah. and all sorts. Although, if you've got fingers small enough to use it and do it, yeah. fair enough. Darling, but... what's that telephone number from that person? Right, give me half an hour, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you. The thing is, I, like, I'm not into expensive watches, but I am into watches that are oddball. Yeah. And for me, like. People people who watch the channel regularly would have watched one of mine the other day and be like, oh, Jeff's wearing a watch. And the reason I was wearing seconds. a watch is because I woke up in the morning feeling miserable, but this watch reminds me of my holiday because I bought it on oh, holiday. Okay, yeah. So I was like, I'm, and I even said to the wife when I left the house in the morning, I said, I'm going to wear my watch because it reminds me of being away. This is uh, an Amiga Seamaster Professional. Nice. What's the time? Is it actually on the right time? It is 20 past 11. 22 minutes past got, 11. Got a joke running with my wife that at some point this is going to stop telling the time. And I found it in a shop in Egypt and I really like the I like the face on it. I just thought it was nice with the black and the white. It's nice watch. But then I realised, right, it's got Snoopy on it. It'll take <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. What? I don't know. It wasn't until after I'd got back to, like, I, it took me a while because I bought a few other watches at the same time because I, I love a fake watch. Actually, Why has it got actually, Snoopy actually, on it? Snoop. And the little dials work as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, like, it's actually, it functions really well and it feels nice on the wrist and it looks nice. I'm not trying to fool anyone that I'm wearing a £16,000 watch because that would be ridiculous. Because um, your £16,000 watch wouldn't have Snoopy on it. I, 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 could, I couldn't... I want to know, though. I Do couldn't wear a watch. does? I don't know. I, I want to say that it's an exact copy of a very rare Amiga. Right, I'm going to hold my watch up. That's... Can you see Snoopy on the watch? I don't know if it's going in focus. Please tell me why that's, that's... on there. But, I, I, like I say, it makes me happy because it reminds me of a holiday that that's I had. No, that's... And that's what matters. My friend had a... <laughs> we were working together and he had this watch and he lift it up. And underneath it is a cigarette lighter. Nice! But because we worked with boxes one day, he was working away and we went, <laughs> what's burning, mate? And he went, oh, no! <laughs> and he set up his watch, it just opened. And because it just opened, there's just a, like, a, like a cigarette lighter, like yeah, that. Yeah. 
It was just one of those inside his watch. Oh, really? So he opened his watch, and then this thing's just glowing red hot, and he set wow. fire to one of the boxes and nearly burnt the warehouse down. That's like a fantastic invention that we absolutely didn't need. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> just, but, oh, I'm gonna light my cigarette off my watch. Because yeah. why would you? But then again, we got smart watches now, and these things do everything. But that's what everything. concerns me, they, they do everything. And I've got the time on my phone. Yeah. All um, I really use it for mainly is, well, telling the time, obviously. Yeah. Um, I do pay for things on it every now and then when I forget yeah. my stuff. But mainly when I'm at work and I've got, I've, I've always got my headphones on at work. Yeah. I listen to music nine yeah. hours a day, four days a week, every yeah. day. So you can run your music from so your So I watch. literally just go tap, oh, it's that, because I'm always listening to different yeah, stuff. Yeah, okay. And I can just skip it from that rather yeah. than pulling my phone out and just crack on and stuff. So it is, it is handy, but... Again, incredibly pointless. Do you use works. it for um, monitoring? Amiga did make Snoopy watches. Very expensive Snoopy watches. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, someone's just joined as a member. I'm not the Messiah, I'm a very naughty boy. He's just signed up as a member. A Jeff Easter. I don't really know what YouTube memberships are about. So I deliberately set them up <coughs> in a way that they would make no sense. Because I think the idea, <laughs> the idea with memberships is that someone joins to a certain level and then they get stuff. And at some point you have to take your clothes off. Yeah, I'm I pretty think so, sure. Yeah. But the way I wanted to do it was, if you want to join as a member, you can, and it doesn't do anything. But you're just supporting my craziness. Yeah, yeah. You know. Then it, I was looking at I was looking at some YouTubers' memberships not long ago, and I could not. I I still now I don't quite understand it. One of them was eighty nine ninety nine a month. Really, ninety pound a month to pay to what? The thing you, is, as well, if you like YouTube and you like watching his videos, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. But why have, why have you got £90 a month to spare to say, I really like watching your videos? Here you go, mate. I, I tell you what, though, on the other side of that is you never know who's watching. Like, you might have True. people. And, I, and I've learned this from YouTube. You know, that there are people that are at home or they're confined to the house. And, you, like, with my videos with Lee, we had a few comments where people are like, wow, I, I, I like, live for your content. And it's really sweet because you in your day-to-day -day life, you don't realise that these people exist, but they do. And, and there are people that are like confined at home and they can't go out and they can't do anything and YouTube is, is no, 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 life. I completely it's agree. It's mad, I, isn't it? I mean, I've, I literally, I see your posts on Facebook and stuff and it's like, oh, you oh, know. I, I am prolific. Like, I don't stop, do I? No, you don't like, oh, uh, live viewing at half two or something, yeah. like yesterday. And yeah. then I'm like, well, I'll get a couple of beers, I'll go home and I'll watch it. Yeah. And I do, and I watch yeah. it. And now I'm sat in a car with Jeff and I still sit at home watching his videos. So. On a lot, on a lot, here you go. Amiga Speedmaster Snoopy, good condition, 32 and a half grand. I'll sell it to you for, 30, for 32. 32. <laughs> right, I didn't know Thanks. that. I didn't know the Amiga Seamaster Snoopy was a thing, but that there we go. Yeah. That, I feel a lot better about that. Yeah, I just yeah, thought I yeah. bought I just a really... I just had a weird Snoopy on it. <laughs> See, this is what's annoying, yeah? Time to get moving. Your watch is telling you to get watch is telling active. me, stop being a lazy bugger and actually yeah. go get some exercise. And I'm like, no, I'm no better than you. No, also, you're busy entertaining 562 yeah, exactly, people. Yeah. Your watch doesn't My know watch, that. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, watch, we know yeah. better than you. I, I bought a new watch on Monday. Right. right. Uh, this is going to appear on a video, but I'll, I'll tell the people that are watching. See what I did there. Um, you know, I did my headline in my Renault oh, yeah, with yeah, my yeah. wallpaper that matches this, actually. Well, there's a watch that I really like from back in when I was in the surfing industry. It's called a Nixon Rotolog. So the watch, instead of the dial going round, instead of the hands going round, the dial goes round. Right, okay. That's an amazing ringtone. And um, they did one that was a special edition that was only available in very small numbers that just happens to match my headlining. And here's the funny thing, right? This is really funny. The other day, someone was talking about watches in a live broadcast. And that night, I went on my eBay. This is how subliminal marketing works. <laughs> I went on eBay that night, and I thought, oh, I wonder if there's any... Because I've got a Nixon Rotolog. I've got one with, a, with bamboo inlays, like a wooden watch. And I went on eBay, because they don't come up for sale often. And I thought, I wonder what's on there. Mm. And I saw this one in this pattern. And then it was after that that I was in the shop buying wallpaper, and I, I bought that wallpaper but at the time <laughs> i didn't connect that what my brain had done for me is my brain had gone you saw this watch the other day you quite like this watch so you're going to choose this wallpaper yeah but it wasn't a conscious decision no 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 so that night i went home and i was like oh i now realize why i bought the wallpaper it's because of seeing the watch seeing this watch so yeah, i bought yeah. the watch but <laughs> which i didn't need uh and my wife's gonna kill me when she finds out but it came from japan and apparently it's arrived today so that watch is in, I bought it late Monday night and it's arrived on Friday from Japan. 
That's mad, isn't it? It's quite efficient though, isn't it? It's very fast. That's very fast. I mean, you can get a lot of stuff from China pretty quick, but... I mean, I, I can guarantee that by the time I get home, there's going to be a little slip of paper in my letterbox that says you need to pay the customs duty. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you don't pay £95, you're not having this watch that, you, that you've bought. You'll have to go down to the post office and see that yeah. really miserable guy stood behind the counter. Yeah, exactly. Or I'm going to get the watch out of the box and it's going to say... Um, it's, it's Obiga. Yeah. No, no, because it, it, it's a Nixon. So it's not it's not a Bosch watch, but it's you know, it says like wear and tear. And I'm yeah. gonna get it out and it'll be absolutely knackered. Yeah. Um Nerd in Motion, I'd love you to build me a G Shock. Uh, so long as it's the problem with the G Shocks is they have a really big face on them. So if it's a smaller yeah. face, is it thirty two mil? Some of them are like I mean, some of them are massive. This, this to me is a big watch face. It's not too bad that one though. I mean it is full of dust. Show the, the people. Surface. Show the people. It's Let's compare. So I, I think mine will be, because I like the smaller ones. Pop the case off it though and actually make it a little bit smaller. Oh, okay, yeah, because it's got a protected case. Protective oh, that's not case too bad. On. So they are fairly similar. So fairly, I mean, they're not. Yeah. But it, it, it's comfy. It does the job. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's what matters. Um, but yeah. It is annoying having to recharge your watch. Yeah. That gets a bit tedious because yeah, you're imagine. like, oh well. Uh, but the, the battery does last a good few days on it. It's not as if it. Yeah. It's not as if it wears out straight away. In the old um, days, you would have had to wind up your watch. Yeah, I, I miss those as well. Yeah. And just sit there. And that's it. It's, it's wound. It's going to live for the next five days now until next yeah. time. And give it a little wind. Yeah. I used exactly. to have one of them. Um, I like watches. Though. So that, I didn't expect to be talking about watches. I like watches as well. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I've got. I've got a box. I've got a presentation box for oh, my really? watches. Yeah, and my wife really laughs at me because she says, you've got these watches in a presentation box. A, none of the watches are worth any money. And B, you never wear any of them. That's and I'm the like, point, I though. just like them. No, but it's like, uh, I know it sounds, it's not I'm almost the same. In my downstairs toilet, I've decorated it how I want it. It's all just stuff that I've got in there. And it's good. And it's crap. It's, yeah. There's nothing. There's no other way about it. It's crap, but there's loads of it. Yeah. So when you go in there and you're taking your wee wees and then you're finished, you find yourself standing around for ten minutes just going. I like that though. Looking at all the little bits and Lego bits and oh look, there's a Jack Daniels bottle and oh look, a pack of Marlboro cigarettes and you know a Battle of Worcester book and yeah. I've even got my Protect and Survive manual because I'm, pre I'm prepared. You yeah, see. yeah, yeah. I like to, I like to keep my Protect and Survive manual close to hand. I think I've just got in a, case. I think I've got an SAS survival manual in our downstairs toilet as well. Oh, it'll be good. There's all these blokes that've got these manuals in the downstairs toilet. If the apocalypse comes when you're having your morning poo. Well, this is ideal, just, yeah. It? This is just things like you know, darling. I know just what to do. Yes, don't don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Right, pile things against the door. Paint yourself white. Here's a good. <laughs> here's a good question. Which car has the best clock? Ooh, uh, how do you mean clock? As in like as in like time clock. I think the Jaguars have a dial in the middle with an actual clock, which I really like. Well, Mondeo's got one. Of them. Your Mondeo's got it's one got as well, hasn't it? Manual. Yes, it has. Clock in the middle. Yeah. that's quite. I, I quite like the look of that. It's quite. Yeah, that's that, quite sweet and neat. That is nice, and um, I think there's on an episode of the Grand Tour where Jeremy Clarkson buys the. The big American one. It's a Lincoln Nav. No, it's not a navigator. Oh, the uh, Continental. Conti yeah, the Continental Mark the, Four or Five. Like that, the massive boat tail. One. Exactly, and they did special edition ones where designers did like each special yeah, edition, yeah. and it had a proper clock. Yeah, and that that's quite special. Technically, like my Jill has got one and all because I just bought, I just bought a little green like clock and just went there you go. Do, and it just stuck it right in the middle. And that it works. It works. It's... But uh, any Smiths clocks, yeah, Smiths clocks are always good. Um, so what we've established is we don't really want technology. We would ideally like to have a CD player and we want a nice clock. And I can guarantee yeah. you... I mean, I, they, does this even have a clock? It will do somewhere, but it'd be digital. I'd imagine yeah, it's on here so. then. I but, mean, in the front, it's just got a digital readout and it just says, door. Here's a, cha <laughs> here's, a challenge for here's a challenge for everybody then. Is it possible to buy a brand new car that's got a clock? I bet it's not. Not a clock with hands. I don't think... Oh, I bet you the Rolls-Royces The Rolls-Royces probably do, yeah. It'll have to be really high-end. Yeah. Isn't it ironic that in order to get the most simple method of telling the time, you've got to buy the you most expensive car? You have to buy a really car. expensive car. Cheap uh, cars just get digital clocks. That's, that's like cheap Casio watches. Bentley, says Connie. You're probably right there. Bentley probably does. Um, PT has a clock on the radio. Thank you, nerd in motion. Um, my <laughs> clocks are made using F1 car... Parts, a bit too big to put in your dash. That's pretty cool, that is. Um, 2017 Hilux has a CD player. That's pretty late for a CD player. So you're um, talking about the CD player, and now I'm looking at it thinking, what? what? What's that? <laughs> what's it? 
No, I, I like I like all that though because if you, you know on a modern car, if you want to change your base or your treble, oh, you or, have to go through loads yeah. of bits. And, and I, stuff, I've yeah. said this on videos going back like, are they parking here? Going back like two years. Um, I think he's going to go for that space in front, isn't he? Cooper S R fifty three. It's not an R fifty three because it's sixty three players newer than that. Um, I've said this. You have to go. Th you know, if you want to like put the audio in the back where the kids are. Yeah, yeah. If you and the wife are having a chat, or the other way around, if we're listening to a really sweary Joe Rogan podcast and we want the music in the front and on the Volvos and on this, like that one, you just turn a dial. You just turn it a little dial. Yeah. Whereas in something modern, you have to go all the way through. You have to go menu. You have to change the screen so it's on audio, and then go into the settings menu, and then find the. It's really, it, it really, is really tedious. awkward. <laughs> So, my 1974 Cadillac's clock was the only thing you could hear when it was running. There's something really quite nice about that. Um, I, I do like big old American cars. I'd really love a big station wagon, like a Woody. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. Like a um, Buick. Or... They're weird fans, aren't they? Aren't they odd? They are odd, yeah. What? Yeah. It's quite neatly designed. I quite, I quite like all of it. It needs a good clean, doesn't it? It needs a... Um, yeah, if you get bored this afternoon, um, <laughs> yeah. just I'll take it around to Cromwell's. Nothing much, just you know, a two-stage polish and a ceramic coating. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cromwell's do a good wash. I yeah. love. I need. I I can't wait until I've got a bit more money and I've got the ST back. I'm gonna take one car down there. Yeah. Clean it. Bring it back. Yeah. Take the other car down there. Bring it go back. On, luxury that is. I'm just gonna go. Two, two cars. Two on cars. The same day. One day. Um, we've covered music, clocks, and now we need to cover photography. All right. Photography. When you were skateboarding, what kind of camera were you using? Um, I used, in fact, I've still got it. I've still got it. I've got a little camcorder. to Sony, like, fold-out sort of screen yeah. camcorder thing. I took, it takes the little tapes. But the problem is I lost the charger, like, no, so many right. years ago. Yeah. But now I can't find it. And there's a tape, uh, there's, there's videos from a skating, from going all over, and there's videos from me, like, being in New York and stuff, and I can't find... Yeah. I can't find the weird... Do you remember the big VHS tapes oh, yeah. you used to get? And you'd yeah. open the middle, put your little tape in the middle, was... and then put it in your VHS player. And that's when the yeah the mini cams came out with the smaller tape, but there were two different sizes, weren't there? This is the really small one. That's ones. the really small one. So I need to find the adapters to fit that in, to then put it into that, so yeah. then I can fit it in my VHS, because yeah. I'm sad enough I've still got one. And then I can... Then I'll be able to use, use my camera again, yeah. and see what we all filmed and what we got up to that'd be, well. that'd be interesting we had a um we had a i think it was a kodak digital camera um and they were they were robust you know they were they, they were they good were well things. made and they were heavy yeah and yeah. it was a big deal when you had you, you got a digital camera out with your great big memory camera <laughs> going, <laughs> going on this side i remember seeing people skate and stuff do you remember you'd always see them they'd have a camera with a handle on top yeah. and you were like oh, yeah i wonder if they've got a fisheye lens as well yeah. wow do you, you remember? Uh, do you remember the Rodney Mullen video that came yeah. out with the uh, with the Aerosmith soundtrack? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember, remember that. watching that and being blown away. Rodney Mullen was just he's in the league of his own, wasn't he? Though, but there were so many skaters which were in the league of their own at the time. Yeah, there were. Have you seen skating? What it's got turned into now? Though? I know. I don't really follow it these days. What's going on? It's just insane. It's it's just like anything, you know. When when they did the first backflip on a motor on a motocross bike, yeah, and then they yeah, did the first yeah. double backflip and the first front flip. It's just progressing into that. So yeah. people have done the nine hundreds. They've done all this skating and stuff, and now they're pulling tricks out the bag, which. That wouldn't have made sense. I, I don't even ago. know what to call it or, yeah. or how it's even done. It's physically, it looks physically impossible. Yeah. But it's insane. We I just we just found crazy. an area where humanity is improving extreme sports. Extreme sports. Because you are always, right. Always. You go you go back ten years and we are doing things today that never would have been possible. And it's the same in surfing. Hmm. The kind of waves that are being surfed today, fair enough, they've now got jet skis and stuff, but they're surfing stuff now where years ago you'd have looked at it and gone, can't do that. No, no. one can do that. No, no one can survive that. No, it's too much. And now people are going, yeah, all right. Yeah, totally. So that that is an area where things have actually improved. That's impressive. Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, I was going to say something else then, but I can't remember what it was. But yeah, the, that Rodney Mullen, I'm going to find it now on YouTube, and the frame rate would be terrible. And it'd be like <laughs> one of those small square videos that you can't watch properly. Um, <laughs> I, used to, really do, do, I used to spend a lot of time playing Tony Hawk, I think it was Tony Hawk's 2, on oh, yeah, either Tony a PlayStation Hawks or a Nintendo, and you could build yourself... So I used to always wear mm. a red sweater and brown shorts and some distinctive shoes. And I had like my, me and my mate, we built ourselves on Tony Hawk. Yeah, and that's what yeah. we do in an evening. Um, do you remember when they brought Underground out? Tony Hawk's Underground and you used to be able to get off your board. 
I think I think wow. I was I think I was done with skating by that point. My skating thing wasn't very long because then I moved to Cornwall and then I was really all just about surfing. surfing. I suppose yeah. I was, so I, it kind of I moved. It just went into gaming really. I've never really been a huge gamer, and that's the thing. That's that's where like in the old days you play Tony Hawk because you were a skater, and yeah, then yeah. it became more about just the games just playing the games yeah. and people were playing the games and not skating so much yeah, so yeah. that's an interesting little observation as well that I didn't think I, suppose, I mean we used to skate and then before you know it it was a case of we'd just go to town and go to certain spots and just sit around yeah stopped really skating and just you know stop skating from <laughs> start, started smoking started smoking it went, skating. With, it went with the territory didn't it I was such a good little boy and then sometime at some point someone introduced me to skating and then really it was just a case of we'd just carry the skateboard yeah, we'll carry the skateboard so that our so mum thought we were to going sit. skating yeah. <laughs> where have you two been You're, I remember the once we came we came we, we came oh this is, this is a, I'm going to tell this funny story because you'll appreciate this um, we we'd been skating and we were sat skating out the back of Morrison's car park in Newquay and um, we got really, really paranoid because we'd done too much skating. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were looking over and my friend was like, there's a guy watching us and he's been watching us for ages. Right, and you know what it's like? This conversation goes on for a while. <laughs> a while. And we're getting freaked out because we're already young and we think we're in a load of trouble. A lot of sitting there and staring I, and I'm back like, at him. And I'm like, I, I can see the guy. But I, I, I couldn't make out that it was a guy. And he was like, look, it's a guy. And he's wearing a high-vis. And he's he's by the two cars. And I was really <coughs> confused because I could see the guy. And I could see one car. But I couldn't for the life of me see the other car. <laughs> and this this goes on for a long time. And eventually, uh, someone we were down in like the recycling section of Morrison's. Someone eventually came down to recycle their bottles. And shone headlights onto what we were looking at. And what we thought was two cars and a person standing up was no car. It was just a blank space, a bush and a lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, we were like, yeah, we'd, <laughs> we'd, oh. we'd better go. Yeah, let's just go home, you know, instead of just being paranoid over a lamppost. Yeah, but I don't, I don't do that anymore because the, if I do too much skating these days, I, I go into this, like, hellishly introspective nightmare where I overanalyse everything I've ever done in my whole life. and it's just Yeah, I just never stopped skating. Yeah. I just carried on. Yeah. You know, get over the fear. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the fear of paranoia that comes with yeah. it. It'll be funny it to do it. You'll be all right. I think it would be amusing now that now that a lot of people know me. It'd be funny to do a live broadcast on different. I don't think you could do this on YouTube, but you could do one a day where there, you did different types of narcotics. A, there is a guy who does it though. There's a guy out there. Who, I'm sure he does. I'm sure I've watched him, and he literally takes all sorts of different drugs. Yeah. To then explain to you. What's happening? Yeah. How he's feeling? How to deal with it? Yeah. Because there's so many people out there who are so. Ugh, it's naivety, really. It's just it's naive to go. Well, yes, you can do these things and enjoy them and have fun, but just don't go off the rails. Yeah. And this is what he's teaching. He's saying, look how easy it is to mess yourself up. Be careful. Yeah. And that's all it is. But it's like anything. It is Moder like anything. Moderation. You, you can you can mess yourself up with with you can mess yourself up with a anything. with a model train hobby. Anything. You know your life can go off the rails because you were too. You can obsessed even with have model too trains. many cars. You can't have too many cars. I'm addicted to buying them. That's the problem. Well, I I don't know. I I, I think it's the rush. I think I get a rush I from buying. I keep looking it. at them and keep looking at buying cars and then remembering I haven't got any money. Yeah. And I've got nowhere to keep them. Well, I haven't got any money or anywhere to keep them. But I still... I'm just I'm just. I'm just lucky. That's yeah. all. I just got lucky. Yeah. I got given my agilla because yeah. my mum, my brother, blah, blah, blah. So it was a case of you give your little brother your old car, you're yeah. getting a new one. So I ended up with her. Yeah. And then I won a Jeff. -o. Jeff, hello from the dark state of New York. Love the channel. Well done. Thank you. I like um, New York. But collecting random electricals has always been a hobby of mine. I think everybody's... Blokes tend to have hobbies, yeah. don't we? Women yeah. don't tend to have hobbies. I think women are more sensible than men. No, Well, no. I think women have hobbies, but they are definitely precise. They know what their hobby is. They know what they're doing. They know what they want to collect or make or do. Yeah. Whereas we go, that might come in handy one day. Yeah. That might come in handy one day. And it's not its not a hobby, collecting stuff. Yeah. It's just hoarding crap. Well, this is the thing. Cause I, I, <laughs> I was weird. saying on a live broadcast the other day that I like to get rid of things. And I like to travel through the world lightly and not own too many possessions. But whenever it comes around to tidying up the house, my wife is always like, all this stuff is yours. <laughs> I, you know, I get the same as well. And I'm looking at it going, no, it's not. Yeah. Why is it my stuff? But also, oh, it's not mine. And I'm like, well, where the hell's it come from? I know. Then? I don't know. <laughs> like, there's a bookshelf. And then on the bookshelf, there'll be one Hot Wheels car in front of it. And then that'll turn into three or four Hot yep. Wheels cars. Then there's a spare 
spare key for a car that I've no longer got. Yeah. Sorry, Stuart, it's not the Beetle. That's just an example. I've got like four Volvo keys. I don't know which Volvo they're for. <laughs> uh, then there'll be a key ring on there. And then there'll be like a GoPro mount that goes up there. And, and by the end of the week, your bookshelf is just covered in all in, this crap. In bits. And then your wife and say, my wife's saying, can you find somewhere to put it on? I'm like, I don't know where I put an old <laughs> yeah, Volvo key yeah. or a GoPro mount that I might use at some exactly. point. My Hot Wheels car that I, I you know, we literally, literally hanging off my kitchen cupboard is a bunch of keys. Yeah. And I have no use for any of them. Yeah. They don't fit my doors. They yeah. don't fit the back doors. They don't fit my cars. They don't fit my bikes. Yeah. They don't do anything. But they're still there. Yeah. And what it's, if you needed them? Just in case. Yeah. What if, what if I come across that lock and go, oh, I yeah. can't get in there. Absolutely. I've got a key, you know. Do you remember years ago when they used to send you keys in the post? Just like you'd get a letter and it just had a random crap key in it for no real reason. It was like a thing. And it was like a... And it was just basically going, oh, you know, buy this... You know, you can buy this car and get a key that looks like this sort of thing. And I remember having them when I was a kid and getting them from my nan and granddad. I don't know why that popped in my head. I don't remember that, getting keys in the post. Just, yeah, like, it's literally a random key. It's no completely way. uncut. It just kind of looks like a key, and it was almost like a promotion thing to say, go buy this car or oh, buy this okay. thing. You Good. can have a key that looks just like this. I'll tell you the other At thing. I used to love them. I collected them. I'll tell you the brilliant. other thing I miss, right, and this is going back to when I was a kid, when my dad used to work for a company and he had a fuel card because he was driving all over the place, he used to go to Shell and collect points and then you'd get model cars. Yeah, yeah. Good quality yeah. model cars. Yeah. And that was cool. I remember the one time he got enough Shell points that we got like a 118 scale Jaguar XJ220. Ooh, nice. And it, uh, looking back now, he must have been doing some miles yeah. to get that. <laughs> or he topped it up with money and never told me. Um, but that that was cool. Like There was, there, there was a cool something for each time there you was got something petrol. True. Yeah, now all you do is scan your Morrison card and they're like, oh, well, you went 40 points. All, all, all the club cards are a scam, aren't they? It's, vac oh, yeah, it's vaccine I, passports. That, it's just a precursor to really vaccine passports and a does. social credit score system. You've got a club card, Jeff, because you've been really good this year. That means you get to pay less than him because he's been really naughty. He doesn't have his club card, so he has to pay though, twice as much. What's worse, though, is the club card price is the price that they're selling it at. Yeah. So they've just inflated it. Yeah. They've inflated the prices in order to make you go, oh, I've got a club card. Yeah. No. I'm doing my very best to not shop. Just be shop normal at, and go to Aldi. To not shop at Tesco. You know, I just think... I've got a Morrison's card. I've got an Aldi. I've got a Lidl card. I've yeah. got, you know, I've, I've got them all on my phone. It's really, oh, I do have a card for you too, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know whether I should be sending this on YouTube Live because then you'll all do it as well. Go on. Waitrose. Waitrose card. Get yourself a Waitrose card. Free coffee. No, they stopped that, haven't they? No. You still get a free coffee at Waitrose? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they, started, so... they started it about 12 months ago. Oh, so right. So now I only go to Waitrose to be all upper tea and go, oh, look at me, I'm in Waitrose, I'm buying yeah. stuff. Oh, free coffee, right, yeah. leave. And I'm just out of there straight away. See, this is the problem that I've got with my finances. My wife's always shopped at Waitrose because oh, she's God. always looking at the ingredients and stuff and she's got to a point where, like, I say shop at Waitrose, it's not like we do a big shop, we never do a big shop, but like the little things, you start looking at the ingredients and stuff and you start looking at what supermarkets are putting in things and you go, oh, right, well, it's cheaper for a reason. It's quite interesting. <laughs> um, and, I, and I'm always like, why are you shopping at Waitrose? And she's like, because of the quality of the stuff. And then we have an argument probably every month. She is right. Waitrose quality is good. The staff yeah. are nice. The shop's nice. It looks nice. It's a nice place to be. The it's a nicer shopping nice. experience. Which was your least favourite supermarket to go to? Because mine's Morrison's. Good, good question. Really? Yeah. What? I don't like a Morrison's. I have to go to Morrison's because it's the only food my cat will eat for some reason. Oh, really? So I make special trips to Morrison's just to get cat food. A certain type of cat food. And I like the deli in there as well. Yeah. It's the sort of place where you come out with chicken wings when you Although, didn't eat chicken wings. I was in a Morrison's the other day and I was very disappointed with it. Yeah. I think it's because I've been to the one in Droitwich. The Morrison's in Droitwich is rubbish. That's the one which I mean, yeah. I was in there the other day and it was just crap. And I was... But I, I, I am a little and an Aldi man. I like a little and an Aldi. I like, I like Lidl. Yeah. Because you're always like... buying tools. And I like my little card as well. Yeah. That's well handy. See, I didn't know they did a little card. So, yeah, with your little card, right? If, yeah. you get, if you shop in Lidl a lot, I'd recommend it. Yeah. You spend £200 in Lidl yeah. over a month and you yeah. get like 20 quid off a ticket. You spend uh, right, 50 okay. quid and you get a free bakery item. Oh, that's useful. Do you know what I mean? So you just build it up slowly yeah. and you've got all these little tokens and things you can activate to get yeah. cheaper stuff and blah, blah, blah. Because I'll, I'll go in every now and then and I'll fill a trolley of like stuff that we use all the time. Someone just sent me some money. £2.99, buy more cars, love the old rides. Thank you, Carlo. I'll buy a Hot Wheels car with that. And that's the other thing as well. 
Put the hot... If anybody's watching from any of the main supermarkets, right, put the Hot Wheels cars by the till. Yeah. We will buy yeah, them. Yeah, we will buy them, yeah. <laughs> and open them up a little bit and show them off a bit. Do you know what? I can't find my little Agilla in a Hot Wheels at all. I need to write to them. Yeah. See I, if they'll make me one. If anybody's watching from Hot Wheels, we need a Voxel Agila. We need Agila. a Voxel Agila. A Gila. A G- I don't know if it's Agila or Agila. I say Agila. Yeah, I say Agila, but... Because of Jill of the Hunt. Potato, potato. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You said potato, I said tomato, and then we've absolutely cooked the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hot Wheels are cool. And I need to get a little Hot Wheels Mondeo as well for my Mondeo. Again, I don't think there is one. But it's because oh. Hot Wheels are predominantly American, aren't they? And they never really had the Mondeo over there. You might get a Matchbox what about Matchbox, one. then? You might get a Matchbox, yeah. yeah. That would work. Yeah. I like Matchbox as well. I, I've got a Hot Wheels cabinet as well, and I've, I've done a video on this. If you Google Jeff Buys Cars Hot Wheels, you can watch me talking you through all of my Hot Wheels. I think I filmed it last year. And I, I keep them all loose because I believe the Hot Wheels, they need to be fingered. They, they do, You yeah. need to hold them and look at now, them and mess with them. My wife collects Funko Pops, those weird little doll Funko things. They come in a right. box about that big, and they've got a clear see-through front, and there's... Do, Are they ones with the big head? Yeah. Right, they okay, yeah. Thousands of them. Yeah. And they, they started years ago when it was all... You know, years ago they started. I mean, I remember buying her a Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat, the Chase version. Yeah. Anyway, paid twenty quid for it. Yeah. Went looking for it straight away afterwards. Instantly doubled in price. Really? Now you can't get it for love nor money. It's weird. So I mean, it's like worth that, a lot of money. But I've got my son bought me two of them. He bought me a little Alice Cooper. Yeah. And a strange Al, uh, weird Al. Weird Yo- Al Yankovic. Yeah. Yeah. And I took them. They're just on my shelves in the toilet. And they just stand there above each other like that, and they're just—they're fun to look at. I like—I yeah. like looking at them. I like enjoying them. And then yeah. people go, "Oh, but you've taken it out of the box. Now it's not going to be worth anything." But that doesn't matter. No, I'm, I'm the same. So with my Hot Wheels, I've got a an '84 car. Um, it's not a cabinet. It's just like a little wooden. It's, it's a cheap, crappy thing from China, basically. And it's on the wall. And what I find really relaxing is I take them all down and put them all—I don't know—usually on an ironing board because it's handy. <laughs> And then I'm like, now I'm going to arrange them by how much I want to go a road and a, and a road trip in one of them. And I'll like start at the top. And then I'll be like, now I'm going to do them in colour. And then I'm going to do them by country. And I just, yeah, exactly. it's just really enjoyable. There's something fun and My about wife's it. like, what are you doing up there? Have you finished tidying that room? I'm like, no, I'm reorganising my Hot Wheels. I'm reorganising my car. You're 37! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm having exactly. Fun. It's great fun. No, it but is great. It's, it's little things like that which are just... I think it keeps you sane to some it's degree, doesn't it? It's part of the fun of it, though. The little things. I mean, what's the point of being so serious all the time? Yeah. That's all. Yeah. It's fun to be a little bit childish. I, I think it is. You've got yeah. to have that. I mean, yeah. come on. You've seen the car I drive. Cars you drive. <laughs> Cars you're, I you're, drive, Your yeah. Aguila is a little bit of fun. But, I mean, look back to that dino day that we did. If you haven't watched it, go on YouTube, type in Jeff Buys Cars Dino Day, and you'll see. Um, we had your Aguila on the dino, and everybody who was there... That was their favourite car. You know that. You know that award. Such a fun that moment. award is on my living room wall. I've got actually. I, I'm really bad at admin. Anybody who knows me will know this. I've got a sticker done that I haven't posted out to anyone yet that says "I survived the Dino Day." That needs to go on your car. Oh yeah. I need to yeah. go back through the website and eat and post one to everybody who ordered who died who, who, who was there because done two dinos days now i've got two stickers and they've never been sent out um and, and we're gonna do a third dino day because i'm definitely doing the st if so i know it's a little bit over the power rate no no because said, i was gonna but... do i was gonna do that power one when i took my reno down there but i took my reno down there anyway yeah yeah and that and that that became a video so it might be that we just do another general dino day and because that first one was fun the first one the was first fun. one was really the, the fun. thing was it is it, is it was the same as we had the yeah, weather people just turned up yeah in their vehicles yeah they didn't turn the second one that we did people turned up and they were like this is my car but i like my car yeah. this is my special car i was and, almost you know, disappointed in the turnout for the second one because all the cars got really serious really serious that's the point is everyone was really serious there was a distinct difference the first dino day it was people being like oh i like jeff We'll do the Dino Day, and on the second one, it was like, "I've got a powerful car. I'll do the Dino Day." Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. When the car started turning up, I was like, "Oh, this is less fun than the first one." Yeah, it's because the first one is you, you could see the fear in people. Yeah, and we had that little Skoda that went on as well, and, yeah, he, yeah. and he was so happy. <laughs> yeah, he was over really, the moon. 140 horsepower, and he's the insane. happiest man in the world. It was fun though, it was wasn't just it? A, it was a fun, different day. Yeah, I turned up in a V8 it. Mercedes, and it immediately broke. And it, it broke straight away. Yeah, <laughs> just didn't want to do anything. Yeah, if you That's don't, scary. if you don't know what we're talking about, type in YouTube search bar "Jeff buys cars Dino Day" and and you'll see it. Um, 58 wheel horsepower. Look at this. 58. 
I've got I've earned ten pound thirty four from this live feed because generous people have been sending money. I never knew that was a thing. I genuinely thought you had to take your clothes off to get that. Ten pound thirty four an hour, seventy two minutes. I've been broadcasting. That's slightly under minimum wage. That is, yeah, just yeah, I'm yeah. About that, that's all right, isn't it? I mean, so, tell you what, the uh, the YouTube pay rates are really low at the moment. There's something going on. Oh, yeah. I was texting Lee about it this morning. Yeah, really low. Don't well, know. I don't know what's going on, but something's going on. It's it? really sunny it and really sunny. hot, but that cloud over there is really, really dark and massive. It's it's bizarre, isn't and it? over there, it's that brilliant. that is actual proper traditional old fashioned blue sky, though. Like that's actually blue sky. Yeah, which we haven't blue, seen. Blue sky and sunshine. Eight days we've had without it. When I worked out from going back through my camera roll. Yeah, because I film every day, so I can go back through my videos on YouTube and I can look at the back window. And I could work out what the sky was doing. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. And it was really funny because I looked at the PT Cruiser photo I took the other day where there was a little bit of blue in the picture, but then I didn't test drive the car because it started raining. I was like, well, that that is the way things are at the minute. I don't know how much you can say on YouTube before you start getting in trouble. Because a lot of people will, sl will, will slag you off and be like, oh, yeah, I can't believe you believe in all that. But I just I just look up and I see it. I, I know what you mean. And it's, the stupid thing was is that... I don't want to believe in it. I literally sat on break with my colleague the other day and I said to him I said do you remember about 20 years ago now I'm not being a conspiracy theorist here but about 20 years ago we didn't see this many chemtrails yeah and I just I don't want to join this bandwagon either but I can't help but agree well, <laughs> you, you are right it wasn't like don't, don't 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 the, the trick is don't don't say the c word it's just the fact that the skies are different these days. Yeah. And that's it. And, that, I mean, and that's I'm where a, I'm I start. I'm a firm believer it. in physics and understand how planes work yeah. and temperatures and moisture and all this. And I understand that. And I get it because I'm, I believe in it. Yeah. But there's, a the other, there's a chat. On the other of, hand, the UAE, yeah. the United Arab Emirates, yeah. they have literally openly said that they cloud yeah. seed. And yep. they do cloud seed using salt to create rain. Yep. And that's fine. I'm all up for that. No problem with cloud seeding if you'd like to make it rain somewhere. I just feel like even but, if you've done all the science in the world, if you're going to make it rain somewhere, something's going to go wrong somewhere else. Yeah, we shouldn't be yeah. messing is, is the yeah, way I feel Yeah, about. I know what you mean, yeah. Um, like the Nerd in Motion. This is a nice it? break from doing my HCV class one. Thank you, Nerd in Motion. <laughs> and Nerd in Motion, do send me an email or an in. I don't know how people get in touch with me because I get that many emails. It's really hard to wade through them all. Um, Instagram, there were a lot of helicopters yesterday as well, which was very odd. Don't know what that one is. Police one. Um, do email me about a G Shock because I'd be interested to work with you on getting a. You know, if you restore them or do custom ones, I'm not completely sure what you do, but let me know. Uh, maybe What's we could a do G-Shock? Casio. Then the, Casio G-Shock, oh, we're going back to watches now. Massive watch, aren't Yeah, they? yeah, but when, when Casio G-Shocks came out, they were meant to be just really sturdy, well-made, lasting, hard-wearing watches. And then, somehow, G-Shock became like a brand. And yeah, then yeah. we went down the route of big watches that are six, seven hundred pounds, which just totally confused oh, me. Oh, right, okay. Um, but my, my brother was in the military he was in the navy and i had a nice g-shock and he sort of i don't know if i gave it to him or he stole it but i never got it back and that, yeah. that was my favorite watch but it wasn't a huge one yeah and it yeah, had yeah. the digital display and it had the hands as well oh, okay that's cool. and it was a good watch because it wasn't massive but I, I haven't been able to find one since um i don't remember the skies being so gray and gloomy all the time back in the day no and and that's the thing like when we were kids at school but maybe that's because we we're looking back on the good years of your life. And then again, but we also, you know... Do you remember 20 how? years ago, we used to get snow at Christmas. Now it yeah. snows in March. Yeah, it's odd, isn't it? You know, I got my bike delivered. I remember... Oh, go away. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. 2018. Yeah. The 1st of March, I was meant to be getting my brand spanking new motorbike delivered. Yeah. And of course, we had a blizzard. I yeah. ended up calling Honda the garage saying, yeah, just hold on to it because I haven't got a garage to put it in. Yeah. Do not bring my new motorbike to me now and just leave it outside in the snow. Yeah. But I was I was so gutted. 2018 in March. 2018, yeah. 1st of March, when we had snow. And it was that weird snow as well that just blew everywhere. Yeah. Do you remember oh, I remember that, really, yeah. Really, what it was called. It was cool. We were like, oh yeah, we're going to go out and make snowballs and you couldn't. You couldn't know because what it was called was dry snow. And it was the only time I've ever seen it. You only ever see it on like blowing documentaries. Across the road. Yeah, yeah, blowing across this car park, just blowing around like sand yeah. it looked really cool but there's an alleyway down the back of mine that sort of goes into Dines Green yeah and apparently Rob walked through it and it had been blown from either end and when he walked through the middle it came up to his chest really the, the draft it just right in the middle he was climbing through all this snow powder snow the last time I saw the type of clear blue sky that you felt could dive in 
it was COVID. Mm. Oh my gosh, the lockdown skies were incredible. <sighs> like every just... day you'd, you'd wake up each day and be like, yes, yep. doors open, day of windows this. open. Yeah. Sit in my pants all day. Yeah, yeah. Board shorts. Just I wore board shorts for like six weeks. Yeah. It was just, phenomenal. It was brilliant. After that, we tried to move to Cornwall because we'd wanted to do that for a while. And I was thinking, right, I'm going to give up with all this Jeff stuff and move to Cornwall. So we did. And by the June, the lockdown was over. We moved to Cornwall. We rented a house and it rained for four weeks straight. <laughs> After the lockdowns, it rained for four weeks. It was insane. And I know Cornwall weather can get bad, <coughs> but it was absolutely nuts. And the job that I'd got lined up down there didn't work out. And what was apparent was it didn't work out on like the first day. Day one of the new job, I was like, oh dear. We've even moved the cat down here and this is not going to no, work. No. Um, so we came back with our tail between our legs and we haven't really considered Cornwall again since. One day? Day one, I was just like, I've made the wrong How long call. did he last? Uh, maybe two weeks. Ooh, I'm not very good at having jobs. No, the, lo- the shortest time I've spent in a job, which I got hired to do that job yeah. by that company, no agency, hired straight away. And by day four, I said to him, I'm demanding a meeting with the manager. And I sat him down yeah. and I... I don't know. I moaned and I groaned and I bitched at him for two and a half hours. Yeah. And then I picked up all my stuff and left. Yeah. And I mean, this is, I know it's how bad it was that I can't believe I'm having to sit a manager down and tell him where he's going wrong in his warehouse. Yeah. You're a manager. Yeah. (laughs) You you hired me as a forklift driver. I'm out of here. I think (laughs) the worst one I had was I I worked at Phones for You. Remember Phones for You? Phones for You, yeah. Yeah. So I used to sell. Exactly. (laughs) <laughs> and um, I went on. They used to do a three-day residential training course, right? Which was basically the whole thing was psychological manipulation. It was really interesting the way they did it. There was some proper psychology going on with that company. Anyway, when I when I started um, on the shop floor, I was just like shocked at what was going on. And yeah. I think I've talked about this before on YouTube. And there was like an old boy that came in. And he basically just wanted a, a standard pay-as-you-go phone to go in his car for emergencies. Because his family had told him that he needed one. And I ended up sorting him out with whatever it was, cheap, basic phone. And then I got called into a meeting with the manager being like, why didn't you put him on? And they were saying that I should have put him on a £35 a month, 18-month contract with a smartphone. Yeah. And I was like, what? But he didn't want that. No. Exactly. It's just and, that, and that was just happening time and time <sighs> again. And I walked out in the end, I was like, I can't do that. Yeah, it, it, winds, it winds me up though but that happens everywhere you go yeah you know you go in to buy a pair of shoes and oh this tie will go with those shoes yeah. you need this tie too don't you you need this no but don't leave me alone yeah I know what I want it, the difference is is Billy Connolly said this a while ago there's a difference between man and female shopping you know females will go in and they'll go ooh, ooh, yeah ooh, ooh, and then they're off everywhere men will go right what am I after this woof straight to it they can give anything away on the free yeah Sharon Stone's underwear take one free woof not a blink but straight then, to where we need to be but, but you go into shops where you want to buy something or you're not sure yeah and that's when the salesmen become the most evil thing in the world and sell you everything that you do not I, want. I agree, but if men and women shop differently, why is my bookshelf covered in all my stuff and my wife owns nothing? I don't, it doesn't make sense. Because she buys stuff that she needs. And not that she wants. Not that she wants, whereas buy, we buy stuff we just want for the sake of it. Like a watch from Japan that matches yeah, the headlining yeah, on yeah. my Renault. A green, bright green hoodie that's really horrible. I think or borrow a PT Cruiser that you don't really need. I think someone else just sent me £10. You're going to have to do a live broadcast with me again. I've earned more money in this hour than I have in a long time. We can make it a Friday thing. Well, I, I, a Fri- Fri- Friday coffee. I like to do not a lot on Fridays. Yeah, I, like, I don't like doing that I've a lot I've enjoyed... On so last week, I sat down and I read the newspaper in my car and it was one of my most <laughs> successful videos for ages. <laughs> I don't know why I sat there and found it really interesting. Everybody did. So I've got two newspapers this week. Because I don't want to sit there and read the newspaper because I just get bored and oh, whatever. But it, it, Whereas it, you seem to pick out the little articles which you sort of brush over. I mean, yeah. if I ever read a newspaper, I like to read the eye. Yeah. Because that's just global. It's yeah. everywhere. It tells you a bit about everything. I and it's interesting interest- as well. When you read a newspaper, you start reading stuff about stuff that you didn't even know that was going on and find it really interesting. Yeah, yeah. So there's a bit in the newspaper today that people will see when they watch the video. There's a guy that was playing football with like Jamie Carragher and Michael Owen at Liverpool FC who retired at 29 due to a knee injury and he's currently in court because he ended up getting involved with like some major drugs operation. And he was like a he was bringing in like millions of pounds worth of coke from the Amazon. 
was like, how did that happen? But I wouldn't have known about that had I not bought the newspaper. <laughs> and that's quite a cool story. So, it's just mental, isn't it? Yeah. Oh Christ! How well, do people? I don't know. No, I don't. I, know lo- I love watching things like that, though. Yeah. I think it's absolutely great. Yeah. You did what? You carried fifteen kilos of cocaine in your boot, and drove it where? Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff will see your message if you donate a couple of quid because it highlights your message. Okay, that's fine. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that because that's like politicians. That's like saying pay me and I'll read your text. I'll yeah. read your. And I think that's what people do when YouTubers get bigger. If you pay, then they'll read your message out. But I just like to scan through comments as they come in. Mostly, yeah, we've yeah. just been chatting away. To be fair, yeah, we actually haven't been reading comments. We've just been sat yeah. here talking. Well, I think about anything. I think we're done now. I'm definitely ready for a coffee. I'm definitely. We're going to go get coffee. some coffee. Good morning. If you're just joining us, um, you're 84 minutes late. I can't believe that. I've been, that's my longest live broadcast ever. I could talk for England. I think. Yeah. I think people would probably quite like it if I but did. But the thing is, when. <laughs> It's easy to sit here and chat when you've got nothing to do. Well, that, that's just it, and and I am I am a, I am a you I am a YouTuber. Like I'm pretty um, sure that text message is the wife. She's WhatsApp me, and she's text me. Yeah. Just are you okay? Everything yeah. you're right, and I'm like I haven't got the heart to say. Oh, oh I'm just you, sat you in get Morgan off, Morgan, 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 I just get an oi. Like if I haven't replied up. for a bit, I just get oi. I'm WhatsApp. Oh and really? Like, yeah. No, it's just it, gets just you boy. okay. The man's been. Everything's yeah. okay. Boilers sorted. Yeah. I'm like, okay. You're having a busy morning. Oh well, yeah. A little entertaining one. 545 people. Um, cool. Right. I, I am ready for my morning coffee. Yeah. Mm. I haven't yet had a morning coffee. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this this long broadcast. Um, I hope you like um, Josh. I just feel like I said the wrong name then. No, no, no. Why no, did I feel like I said the wrong name? I don't know. Do you know why? Because I've got you saved in my phone as Bezo. Oh, oh, that's I why, yeah, yeah. I wanted to call yeah. you that. Um, if you like Josh, you'll probably be on the channel again at some point soon. I'm glad you like the bloke chat. That was a good chat, yeah, It was actually. a nice chat, yeah. I just, went through some memories there. I'll see if I can, next time, I'll see if I can pull up something, I'll have a think. And next like, time? Oh, I've, come along with it. I've come along with an agenda of stuff to talk about. I've got an idea, right? If it's sunny, we'll go to a skate park. Yes. Shall yeah, we? Yeah, we'll do that, yeah. We might need like, helmets and pads There's and a skate stuff. park around the back of my house, actually. Martley's the best one. Is there one in Martley? Oh, yeah. Where's that one? Concrete. Over towards Chelsea Walsh. Great skate park. I didn't know you. Was there. So next time we'll broadcast from the uh, from skate park. From a skate park somewhere, yeah. I want to learn to do a kick flip. Yeah, we can try. I'm going to have to go on YouTube and learn how to do I'm going to have to get some it. old trainers. I'm not ruining my nice new globes on my grip tape and wearing a hole in the toe there. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. No, it was there, wasn't it? You don't, you don't want one there <laughs> yeah. from doing ollies. Yeah. My mate Rob had a pair of steel toe cap trainers and they were the best things ever yeah. because he wore a hole in the yeah, toe. Yeah, because you just cost... Underneath, it was just metal, so it never fell apart. Actually, just to get... I know we were going to conclude this. <laughs> Shops, right? Yeah. When you wanted skate shoes and skate stuff back in the day, yeah. you'd go to... Remember there was one called Free Spirit? Uh, yeah. Merry Hill. You'd yeah. get skate shoes and there surfy was... stuff. In Worcester, there was Spine yeah. and Two Seasons. Yeah, Two and, Seasons was good. And there was a place, I can't remember what it's called. It's been winding me up something rotten. And I'm sure it was down Friar Street. That yeah. was a surfer shop, white something or something yeah. white. Uh, I can't remember for the life of me yeah. what it was called. But these Tiny days, place. You can't, it's hard to buy the shoes that we want. You can't buy skating trainers. Because my taste in shoes hasn't changed. No. I, I, you, I'm wearing barefoot ones now, but I still want to wear the shoes that I was wearing when I was you 17. You can't buy these anywhere. No, you can't. I've been I've been to I've been to TK Maxx. I've been to about three TK Maxxes. I've been you to used shoe to be shops. able to get skate shoes in TK Maxx. I've but been you can't to, I've been all sorts of places looking for them. And the only place I could find them was online. And yeah. I bought them from Globe. Yeah, from Globe so, Direct. Because then you'd have um what was the other one? Surf Dome. Yeah. Surf Dome went bump. Yeah, so there's find... loads of places. But... but what was really annoying was Surf Dome popped up, did all of that stuff that we were discussing that you could buy online, wiped out all the surf and skate shops, and then went bump themselves. Yeah. And now you, I don't know where to go for it. There's that one place down um, where Two Seasons used to be. I don't know. It looks very pretentious to me in there. Yeah. And what was the name of the place in uh... Two Seasons was always well expensive. It was really there, expensive. It? And the place down there now has got Carhartt all over the window. Oh, and yeah. Stuff. So that's yeah. just going to be crazy expensive. Yeah. And what was the name of the place in um, Reefs? In Crown Gate. Right, okay. Do you remember Reefs? No, I'd never that been, was, never been that, that was one. all surfy and skate. No, I do. I can picture the logo. And Animal and whatnot, and yeah. that's what they used to sell in there. And, it was... and then Animal was a brand, and now Animal's been bought by the company that owned Mountain Warehouse. So you can get Animal stuff in Mountain Warehouse, but it's basically oh. just T-shirts. Oh. I know. I like Animal. I've got an Animal hoodie. I picked it up from... I, I like Animal stuff, because it's, cause it's, and it's, it's just British. Brilliant. It's probably not made in Britain, but it's it's British. Is it? Um, I know that. Yeah. 
there's um I you could go, go back to my surfing days there's a surfer from Nuki called Alan Stokes who just seems like a real nice guy and he's been sponsored by Animal like forever and because of that I think I'm going to get I think that I might get some animal stuff just don't get one of those Mitsubishi wagon animal things. I quite like those. Oh, I don't know. They're just so... An L200. Oh, they're massive. They are huge. No, mind you... I can't see why. Uh, where did I go? Russell's place, the sticker man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went there the other day, and he was stickering for someone a new Ford Ranger. So Ranger there's an old Ranger yeah, down yeah. there. Right, that fits in the parking space. The new Ranger is all Americanized. Yeah. It is massive. Massive. They're it's huge. It's quite bizarre. They? And you look at the size of the payload in the back... And you think that is a you're taking up a lot of physical space there for, for something that doesn't do any more really than anything no. else. And then you're gonna have to pay an extra thousand pounds just to have some sort of special little lock to lock over your bloody well. This is my thing. Like, truck I like. I know the trucks. joke of people will just steal stuff out the back of it, but in Britain they will. And it'll get wet. And it will get wet. So a so. pickup truck is just a less usable estate car. Yeah, it is, yeah. And that's yeah. the thing, isn't it? <laughs> They've got the same space in the back. I mean, what, unless you need to carry, I don't know, a mini digger, which I never do. No, no. And then you get a trailer. So yeah, exactly, yeah. I think we need a resurgence in the, in the, in the wagon. We need a wagon <laughs> resurgence. Well, that's nice there, isn't it? It's a 55 plate Volvo oh, XC70. Do you so know what? you got passive, is it passive four wheel drive? It looks like it. It'll be a D5 automatic. And it's got roof rails and rubber bumpers. Tell you what, one of my neighbours has just got a Volvo... Is it a V70 or something? Yeah. Oh, it looks so nice. Yeah. I don't know why. It's, it's brand all, new? It's, no, no, no. It's a, it's an older, older one. Older one. But it's just blacked out. Yeah. Black car, really black windows. Yeah. It just looks absolutely studded. Looks the I job. I just can't... I don't know why. I just keep... I keep gorgling at it. Um, low battery now. And I am really ready for a coffee. We tried yeah. to conclude this video three times. We have, yeah. <laughs> just, just enjoying ourselves, aren't we? Just yeah. having a bit of fun. The sun's out. Right. Sky's blue. Tune in next week where we'll both be wearing new watches and go skateboarding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, if, if, if anybody has started this video from the start and then made their way all the way to minute number 91... An hour and a half. Um, the code word for if you made it to the end of the video is... Uh, I don't know. What's a code word? I always put a code word at the end Jeff of the video. Code word. So that people, or it can be a statement or something. We need coffee. Where, peop, where people, um, they, and, and then it's a good integer then of, because you never know if people are making it to the end of the video. Yeah. And I'm always like, did people get three minutes in and get bored? Um, so the code word, if you made it to the end of the video is, that's enough chaps, go and have a coffee. That's enough chaps, go and go have, and a, have coffee. a coffee. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll buy my coffee now with the, £22 that I made and I, <laughs> and I didn't have to take my clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers all.